Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks with another tutorial for ADSRSounds.com. And in today's video, we're going to be checking out a tip and trick for the miscellaneous filter types inside of Serum. First, if you're not subscribed to this YouTube channel, please sign up at youtube.com forward slash ADSRTuts, that's T-U-T-S. So I've done a couple tutorials on the filters inside of Serum, like the normal just general filters and how you can use them to shape your sounds. I've even gone over in another separate tutorial the multi-stage filters and what those can do and how they can affect sound. Well, I want to start going over some of these miscellaneous filter types because Serum comes with a bunch of them and some of them are really, really cool. So I wanted to spend a whole tutorial on this one just because I didn't want to rush through it and, you know, lump like three or three to five of these in one tutorial because they're, like I said, they're fun to use, they're musical, and the controls are might take a little bit of playing around with to understand what they do if you just started to kind of have a go at it on your own because the manual doesn't cover these in any great depth. So in today's tutorial, we're we'll be checking out the sample and hold filter type. Well, first, that's a really cool idea. Now, you, a lot of you might have heard of a sample and hold style effect, but it's typically not in a filter, right? Like Massive has one as an insert effect. A lot of distortion effects will use a sample and hold type effect, but it's not in a filter. Well, the reason why that's cool is because the filter can be key tracked. The filter is a voice dependent filter to begin with inside of Serum. So what that nerd talk means is it basically means it's more musical or at least it has the option to be a more musical style effect. Well, so sample and hold, a little bit of history on that. It stems from uh, a long time ago when we actually used circuits to create synths. It stems from an analog circuit called a sample and hold circuit. And for those of you who are uh, visual learners, if you think of a sine wave, you know, the stereotypical smooth looking sine wave, and you applied a sample and hold circuit to it, well, what it's going to do is it's going to hold certain parts of the signal and then drop in and out of, you know, some, some signal is going to go up high, some of it's going to go back down. Well, what that's going to do is it kind of pixelates the audio signal. So if you think of a sine wave and you apply this effect to it on a sample and hold circuit, it would kind of make a sine wave take on a very uh, gritty, dirty square wave because, like I said, some of the, of the samples being hold are the signal and some of it's going above that hold point. And so it creates kind of like a checkered type of square pattern if you were using it over a sine or even a saw wave. And it just dirties up the signal. Well, in digital synthesis, when we got sample rates and all that, it basically just decimates the audio quality. So in a sample and hold, it's going to reduce your sample rate, which can make it sound like old school video games or the Star Wars computer effect, or Star Trek, sorry, Star Trek computer effect. Don't want to get that wrong in case any of you are Trek, uh, Star Trek fans. But uh, yeah, it's, it's that type of effect. So you can use that in a filter, which is just awesome. But the only confusing thing is when you load this up, the controls still say what they would typically say for almost every other filter type inside of Serum, right? You have cutoff, res resolution, reso, pan, drive, and mix. Well, those aren't the typical controls you see in a sample and hold. For instance, if I start to move this cutoff, nothing happens on this screen. Whereas opposed to the other filter types, if you were to load, you know, load them up and start moving them around, you start to see you know, differences on the screen with what's going on. So here's the mix, right? You can see what's being cut off and, and all that. Well, not the case with the with the uh, sample and hold. It's a little bit of a different type of effect, right? Like this isn't moving anything around. And the reason for that is, and I have noticed one slightly annoying thing with this is it, w w the like. Let me make a shape here on my on my low pass. All right, so there's the shape on my low pass, right? Now if I load up my uh, sample and hold, it still has that shape, right? Which is kind of misleading because that's not what is going on so maybe that will be kind of ironed out in an update but just know that this isn't actually what's going on with the visualizer of what's happening with the sample and hold effect it's just kind of staying from my last filter type so what you can do here with this cutoff knob let me turn the resonance down you have first drive and mix well if you have your mix up all the way to the to the right it's going to be just like the mix in any other of the filter types it's going to be at a hundred percent wet the drive boosts the signal. So let me play a little bit of the sound. All right, so if I turn this drive down and the mix down, and turn the filter off, same sound, right? So I'm gonna turn the drive up to about 50% and the mix up to about 50% just for this tutorial. And now let's start to look at this cutoff and the rezo knob. 
or the resolution knob. Now this is what's going to really affect the sound. So when you load up a sample and hold filter, the cutoff knob is basically going to be, or in effect it is the sample reduction. So if I start playing a note, Okay, so as you can hear, it's reducing the sample rate. It's decimating, degrading the audio quality, whatever term you want to use. It's a great tool or effect for basses. That's why I pulled up a bass sound. You could even get away with it on like leads, drums. It'd be really cool as well. So again, the cutoff knob should say in effect a uh, sample rate reduction or you know something to that effect because that's what it's doing. All right, now the resonance knob, this is kind of cool. So I'll leave the cutoff up all the way to the right because when it is, the sample it, the sample rate is un, it's unchanged or unaffected. So if I start to boost this resonance knob, the resonance knob is basically a bit crusher in this instance. So the sample and hold has both the sample rate reduction on the cutoff knob and the resonance is going to be more of a bit crushing style effect. Now this is a really cool effect actually for things like uh, uh, plucks and leads and, and anything that you just want some kind of cool flavor to or some cool characteristic. Now I do want to point out that you don't have to load the sample and hold up in the main filter. This specific effect I have found is actually really really fun and actually more of a musical effect, I guess, if you use it in the effects, because you have this filter. So you can place this anywhere in your signal chain in your effects. You could place it first if you wanted, but you have the you know same miscellaneous type. So you can do your sample and hold here. I like doing it that way because then I can still get a normal type of filter here. So let me load up a pluck sound. <laughs> Right, so now I could go to my effects, I could go to my filter, which I already have active on the sound, but I could choose the sample and hold in the effect rack now. The effects are still, the cutoff knob still is your sample rate reduction. Resonance is going to be your bit crush. All right, so let me turn that off, right? That made the sound a lot cooler. So definitely something to play with and don't forget that it's there because it's one of those features in Serum that there are so many. Sometimes I'm like, oh, wait, there's you know this feature that I can use in the filters that I would typically use as an effect or a distortion type. So if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you haven't checked out ADSR Sounds, head on over there. Tons of cool things, production and synth related. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.